Hey everybody, if you liked this book, Regenerative Soil, you're going to love Regenerative Soil Microscopy. I've actually written the bulk of the book. It's not edited and I've got an ocean of images and video to pour through. Um, and I've, I've got images, but I, but I might, I, there's a few I still need to get, but it's basically done. And so, and I've actually started, I've started writing the third book in the trilogy because they're all interrelated. Um, because they feed into a new kind of database. If we had an open and transparent database, we would know fundamental truths around the soil in ways that we've never had the opportunity to see. So imagine if you uploaded your soil test, regardless of the soil test type, and you were able to compare it to soil types in your area. And then from those soil types that match it, then you can see what they kind of look like in the range of expression on other tests. Imagine if you could compare across pHs. Imagine if you could see po uh, nematode populations across, across <clears throat> pop, uh, bio, bio regions. Imagine if you could see redox in relation to nematodes or bacteria. Imagine if we could run it all against the DNA. That's what I'm talking about. The reality is, is we're, we have the tools, we have the pieces to do things right. And if we actually combined all of these different tests into a lens, and even if it's a hodgepodge lens where it's like, oh, we have more soil, soil mineral tests uploaded than any other test. And so a biology test is the second, you don't have as much soil DNA, I will try to do my part and as, as much as I can from my students sending me samples. But we're still going to get incredible amounts of information right off the bat. But imagine thousands of entries. Imagine hundreds of thousands over five years. Suddenly the top 10 in your bioregion, those are regenerative farms and those are permaculture sites and everyone knows it now. And, 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 me, and the truth is self-evident about how good food is grown because the soil database has bionutrient option, bricks, and plant sap analysis. So suddenly savvy farmers are like, oh yeah, I'm on the database, look me up. You'll see my peaches are the most nutrient dense, highest brick. You'll see that, that um, my asparagus have the highest nutrients. Um, you'll see that, that my, um, my, my melons have EM in them endophytically. So they're, they're actually easier to digest and are more nutritious when eaten. I want to know that part if that's true. But it is, this, th this is edible, the EM by the way. And when I did DNA testing, I found in the best compost, EM is already in the best compost. So I know people said that EM is anaerobic. It's like when you cap it, there's, there's no air in there that's new, I guess, but that's the process. And then you use it and then it can exist facultatively. And then we, even with compost, you know, you're aerobically processing it, but now the best compost is left for six months to a year, which means that that's kind of facultative too. So they go to extremes to process things and bring it back to facultative to normalize it. Very different. So, so we're going to be able to map the specific ratios of, of microbes that work best with, with different plants, different soils, different bioregions. We're going to be able to locate the actual individual microbes that are bioregional dependent, like Lamas deserticola and others that are actually from that climate. And, you know, you bring them to, 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 to other areas, they don't do, they don't do well. You know, they just, yeah, they just senesce. And, 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 and being able to map that too is also incredibly important because none of these things are being mapped. Everything's wild west right now. So the Kickstarter is 28 days left, I believe. Um, we are already at, let me look. Um, last time I checked, I think it was 28% or 29%. We're doing pretty darn good for day two, I tell you that much. Um, I mean, as it stands, yeah, we've got um, 
31 backers. That puts us... Oh, it's not 28. I was all hopeful. There's 28 days left. 24% funded. Um, but there's only 31 backers, so very few people like like have even probably uh, heard about it. That's why I'm trying to spread the word and I need help because not everyone's going to you know get into microscopy. Not everyone's going to um, want to go on, you know, be part of this. And that's okay. But this is going to benefit everyone. This is going to give everyone the opportunity to do things the right way in, in a way we never had an opportunity to. It's going to allow scientists to see things they've never seen. So, yeah, and they're just testing. The crazy thing is, like, the, the, the university test plots are just, like, Underwhelming is, is a kind word. Um, <laughs> so their data, I just, you know, I worry about their data. So it's like, this is, it's just really important that we, we do as much as possible ourselves and have it as transparent as possible. And I'm going to have it set up so that anyone can add to it. Anyone can participate and in, into it and anyone can search it like a library. And then the there'll be like a top 10 um analytics that they'll see like across ph against their bioregion or you know yada 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 um all like the main things that like everyone's gonna really care about but but the things that go deeper that people uh, who are researchers people who are working on products people working on uh for universities it's like i want to uh charge for that so that it funds the the, the housing for everything um, and, and people who take the course have access at that level, um, for a full year and people who join the Kickstarter beta test it with me first. Cause I don't want people to just, you know what I mean? I, I don't want to say it's ready until we say it's ready. I want you guys to give me feedback, just like in my classrooms. I want to know what doesn't work right so that we, we create a database that does exactly what we need it to. Because if it's rigorous and done properly, the universities will start using it. And once the universities start using it and populating it, we're gonna be able to get so much information. It's going to change all of farming. It's going to allow people like John Kemp to go to 10X level as well. It's gonna allow people like James F. White, Olivia Husson, um, all these people who are doing incredible research to understand way more, they're going to be able to help so many more people. If this if this is the sort of thing that you're into, if if you know people who are into soil soil microscopy, you can t do all the bright field stuff that I teach with a two hundred dollar microscope. I know a lot of people are like Matt, your microscopes are very expensive um, with the blue light and all that, and I understand that, and I know I've created new protocols that change everything with this microscope. And I, and I understand that. We should really have these microscopes in every community though. Because if you don't have this microscope, there's a huge chunk of reality that you miss because that blue light is the spectrum at which um, they're, look, they're seeing. That's why nematodes curl up. And it's not the bright light of like below, it's from above. So you actually can see the surface of things. It changes everything. It is not the same at all. So, and it's quite easy. I mean, I'll do it behind my back here. Do 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 do. Almost world. And sharpen that image up. There we go. And then we could probably move around a little bit. Yeah. So I don't even need to look. That's the edge of of the plant right of the 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 cut the cross section right there. And I'll turn around. Um. Yeah, so it looks like shards of glass. And that's the thing is cells are actually designed to let light pass through them. But it's a specific spectrum of light. And so when we look at it with other forms of light, they look opaque. Um, but they're actually like panes of uh, 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 like little shards of glass, little chunks. Like when you have um, that um, glass that shatters into little chunks that's what plants look like they're all made of. And only when you see it under the blue light, which is the light that, that um, fungi autofluoresces at, meaning fungi naturally glows at this range of light. 
and other, and nematodes see this light uh, this light spectrum, but I, I suspect um, pinworm well pinworms definitely do because they've got patterns and I think it has. I discovered uh, glowing patterns on pinworms and um, uh, there's nowhere in the literature anywhere of that being documented anywhere. So that's the thing. The, the field is open and ready for us all to hop in and work shoulder to shoulder together. Um, the, the, the amount of, 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 of potential amazing things to happen. I mean, like I already know a bunch of things. I already know so many things that I can just like go off. And I have to like be careful not to go too far off because I just end up on a tangent for three hours. Um, but I, I had a room full of like uh, micro microscope enthusiasts um, this week. And I actually, uh, many of them were, were, were certified and trained. And, and we had a lot of fun talking about these ideas. And everyone is very, very excited. But that's the thing is it's like, I mean, if it was all like independent of what they already had prepared in their minds, they would be like, what? That doesn't make sense. No, no, no. They're enthusiastic. They're excited because there already was that space inside them waiting for this. And that's all I did. I just, I just felt something that was in me that was within you that, it, that we are all feeling in, the, in our community and realizing we're missing the full picture. Holy cow, this is the pathway forward. And, and I'm just, you know, seeing something that's in all of us. And uh, I, it's an honor to, to be part of this. It's an honor to, I mean, it's an honor to witness this stuff. This stuff is absolutely stunning. Um, understanding how things really work and how our health really works uh, changes everything. <sighs> All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'm Matt Powers. Grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively. And feel free to check out the, the, the Kickstarter and ask any questions. And then also make suggestions. I mean, the reality is I'm the teacher that is the guy who did 150 different preps for each one of his students. I had personalized educational preps for every single one of my students when I was a charter school teacher. And I did that in a very specific, empowering way. And I want to do that for everyone. I want to be able to empower people to be their unique selves. And, and this Kickstarter is, is just an extension of that. So if you know folks that are interested in soil and microscopy, please share this with them. All right, have a wonderful evening. Wonderful weekend.